offenses. Recognize the source. Matthew 16, verse 23. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. One very important truth in handling offenses is to recognize the source. Now, this is not necessarily true all the time, meaning it doesn't mean that every offense is of the enemy. But very often, the source of the offense could be the enemy himself. As in this case, the Lord Jesus recognized that the words Peter was saying was not really from Peter himself, but it was words put in his mouth or inspired, or the source of those words was Satan himself. And so even though Peter spoke those words, Jesus dealt with the source of those words and he rebuked the enemy very sharply. He said, get behind me, Satan. Said, get away from me. I have nothing to do with you, Satan, because I recognize that you are speaking through Peter. And the words Peter is saying, are they are words that offend me. They are words that are a bait, they are the snare, they are a trap. Those, those words are a stumbling block, a hindrance, an obstacle to the purpose that was set before the Lord. And he said, get behind me, Satan, for what you're saying, you're, you're just minding the things of men, not the things of God. So there are times, and I'm not saying this is always, but there are times when the source of the offense is really the enemy himself. There are times when the source of the offense is out of the jealousy and the evil or uh, the wickedness of a, 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 a man's heart. But the enemy will definitely, definitely try to use that offense as a snare and as a stumbling block. But there are also times when the origin of that offense is the enemy himself. The devil is causing that, or instigating it or inspiring that to take place, to come against you, uh, to uh, offend you, to hurt you. Uh, the ultimate goal is to hinder you from moving forward in the purposes of God. The ultimate goal is to cause you to deviate yeah, away from God's will and plan and purpose and to cause you even to lead you astray into sin or just to put an obstacle or a hindrance in your way and stop you from pro progressing the way God wants you to progress. So recognize the source. Don't just look at what meets the eye because there are times when the origin of that offense could, could be the enemy. And that's when you need to deal with the works of darkness. You need to deal with the spirits that inspire or that are behind that offense and protect your heart from accepting or receiving that offense. Don't let that come in, but you take authority over that spirit that is causing that offense or that spirit that is trying to stop you and hinder you and causing you to deviate and negate the works of the enemy. Paul wrote and he said in 2 Corinthians 2.11, he said, you know, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. The context there was a man who was disciplined, but we don't want that man now to go into a state because of discipline into a state of offense where he walks away from God, where he, uh, because of that discipline, he turns his back on God. And he says, we don't want to let that happen. We are not ignorant of what the enemy can do uh, in that man's life because of a, of a, of a dealing that has taken place, of a, of, of a discipline that has brought in. We don't want the enemy to take advantage of us. We must be aware that the enemy can use this offense uh, to cause people to go away from the purposes of God. Let's be on alert. Let's pray. Father, we ask you for the discerning and the discernment we need to recognize the source of the offense or even what the enemy may, might attempt to do uh, in the midst of an offense. Help us to guard our hearts. Help us to dominate uh, whatever the enemy would try to do and not give him room or space to work in our lives. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.